EK Sports. This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. So Philadelphia will get the first possession. Harden scanning the floor. Pass to Harris. Kicks it out to Harden. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on Davis. You got to be careful when guarding Harden. He's so crafty at finding ways to draw fouls. Look, some of James Harden's career numbers are crazy. But he's also got a lot of firsts to go along with those overall totals, like the first 60-point triple-double. And Harden was the first player to average 35 points and seven assists in a season. Yeah, and that was in the 2018-19 season. The same year, he was also the first player to score at least 30 points against every other team. No one had done that since the NBA expanded in 2004. Here's Russell. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. An active competitor, Russell won't go down without a fight, especially around the rim. Back to Harden. Drops in the layup for two. Just an absolute ferocious score. When Harden gets a chance to score from the interior, he doesn't think twice about shooting. Russell left side. They swipe it. Maxi with it. Picked up by Davis. And the foul called on Anthony Davis. That'll be his second foul That's of the game. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Los Angeles on D. Here's Tucker. Kicks it out to Harden. And Harden with the stuff. What an athlete Harden is. Gets off the ground so fast to hammer it down. And the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, Kevin, Los Angeles' head coach gave me a few minutes told me defensively they have to stop dribble penetration, challenge the lobs at the basket, and generally make it difficult to get to the front of the rim. They don't want this to turn into a dunk fest because that will not end in their favor. Guys? Thank you, David. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Harden. Got it off in time and beat the shot clock, but it's no good. Outside, Davis. Pass to Vanderbilt. Back to Davis. Good on the bucket. Hey, I'm going to tell you a little secret. I'm not going to lie. I am happy I never had to guard AD. This guy has it all between the length, the touch, the smart. He's got everything. Harden. And it's Harden slamming it down. Oh, that has to hurt if you're the defense. Harden getting fancy with the jam. About three minutes into this first quarter. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Pass to LeBron. Here's Davis. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. As a defender, it's so tough to body up Davis. He'll find a way to get the bucket and the foul. That's what AD does. Now here's Harden. He's got eight. The shot from the low post is good. Harden's got 10 points. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Here's Russell. Back to James. To the middle. Russell, no luck. Gotta applaud the defensive effort. It's not easy to stop him getting in the lane like that. And this Lakers squad has a ton of talent. 
but some guys are well past their prime. Yeah, and still early in the period, and they're only one foul away from being over the limit. And Philadelphia making a change here. Misses the layup. He had him with that bump fake. And what do you think, G.A., is the next step for this Lakers team? Coming off a championship not that long ago, young firepower is surely needed. These older guys can't carry a team like they used to. In the corner, it's Harris. That's good, and that's Embiid with the assist. Nice pass by Embiid, smartly taking advantage of a wide-open man. In the corner, Vanderbilt with it. Outside, Russell. And Davis throws it down. <laughs> Does anybody else think it's just too easy for AD sometimes? Just an easy board and put back. Back to Harden. And here's Melton. No points in the game yet for him. And now LeBron pushing it up. No one back to stop him. LeBron James. See, that's where he starts to beat you with his brain. The awareness of LeBron James. He gets the steal and knows exactly what to do with it. Here's Melton. Ball's not loose. Pass to Harris. And stolen by Russell. And they're pushing it up. How about the D there by Russell? Just using that 6'9 wings, man, to jack the ball loose and kicks it off off the fast break. Melton, no good. The Lakers in the lead. And the points coming for them now, Greg and Bunches. And we're seeing what a high-octane offense should look like. The shot's good from Vanderbilt. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-open. Will it go? Harden draws the double. And Harris wide open. He shoots the 76ers with another miss. No one near James as he lets it go. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. LeBron's got seven points in the game. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. Uh, a scene of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, when you hustle on the break like he does, good things tend to happen. So the Lakers call timeout their first. Lakers making a change here. Here's Schroeder. Down low. Here's Hachimura. And the dunk by Hachimura. And proving to be effective around the rim. Hachimura leaving no doubt about that. Pamba with the block. Here's LeBron. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on James Harden. Hard to believe, Greg, last season, LeBron missing the playoffs for just the third time in his career. And, Kevin, it almost felt surreal to not have him in the playoffs. I mean, this guy's been a fixture in the postseason for almost two decades now. Just another bullet on LeBron's incredible resume. And stolen by James. Here's Reeves. It's tipped. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. 
In the corner, Harden. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Locking the arc down. Defense knows it's on them to scare off those shots. To the inside. Harden draws the double. Inside. Out to Harris. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. Laker substitution. Ronnie Walker the fourth. Harden outside. It's Harold, top of the key. Shot clock at six. That one good for two. And this is what gets Harold going. He loves going at defenders inside and finishing right through them. Here's Schroeder. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Nice job creating for the easy dips. Hit by Harold. A shot that time, not on target. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Ron right side. We've got 108 left to play in the first quarter. Makes it off the glass. And now a 10-point Los Angeles lead. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. It also allows them to play inside out, which will make them even more difficult to defend. Back to Harden. To the paint. Here's Niang. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Meet your point guard. Harden stirs the drink for you as effectively as he scores. Schroeder outside. Here's James. Rebound by Harold. The 76ers trailed by eight. And stolen by LeBron. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Walker's running. And the dunk by Bamba. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two and jam. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we've got more on 2K. enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers here's Schroeder pass to Bamba it's stolen by Harris Milton with it now guarded by Schroeder for three Harris that one misses Lakers leading by eight Over to the left wing. Walker with a clean look. Connects from three-point range. Richard, you grew up in Arizona. Uh, what do you think of the Suns right now and what they've done the last two seasons? Oh, how much time do you got? All my friends back home are just loving it. Chris Paul, he has helped change the culture with Monty Williams. Great job by the front office. They have put in so much young talent, and they have coached them up. They are a complete team. And like I said, how much time you got? We could do this all day. We could indeed. And they double up B. Back to Harris. Yes, that goes in. Harris has got five now. And this is why you get Harris the rock inside. They can trust his judgment down there. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Lakers shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And the Lakers making a change here. At the line for two. And both free throws good for LeBron. And about the 76ers, Richard, they've been impressive. 
Yeah, they've been on a 50-win pace for about the last five seasons. And with Joel Embiid every single year, you are going to be a contender. This is their window, and they are bringing in the talent to get it done. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through, even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. Davis. Good D by Embiid. The 76ers trail by eight. And the dunk by Embiid. Defense looks helpless against Embiid on that slam. He's just too physical. To the inside. And the rejection by Embiid. Now, Milton. He's still scoreless. He'll find this one. Hands it from downtown. And an important part of every team's game. And we'll look at the hustle stats for Philadelphia. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. And Embiid with the block. Yeah, defensively, Embiid can take over a game with this reach. Big block from him there. A nice shot by Tucker. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Back to Harris. Inside. Embiid. And the dunk by MB. Just a beautiful job of scanning the floor, finding the open man. Harris looking to involve his teammates. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA. But on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press for looks. The ball is going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. And let's not forget about his athleticism. Dominant above the rim. Davis knows how to use his size to his advantage. Here's Tucker to the right side. Out to the right wing. Outside Maxi. And he uses the glass on the way. Maxi's got four points in the quarter. I mean, he makes plays like that in his sleep. The game is just far too easy. And they go to the intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Outside, Davis. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy, and you wonder, though, if the team's going to focus on having him be at his best for that postseason run and try to manage the wear and tear. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Stolen by Bamba. Outside, Davis. Back to Bamba. Now, here's Milton. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Embiid. Lays it up off the glass. And when Davis is on the floor, Greg, he is a force. But how do you keep him healthy into the playoffs? That is the question. I mean, sustaining his output over a full season isn't easy. But Davis has had a bit of bad luck with the injury. So you have to mitigate ways to keep him available. Pass to Maxi. On left of the wing. And here's Milton. It's tipped. Embiid with it. He's picked up by Walker. And here they come. And finished off. Daniel. And the defense to start that play was terrific. I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. Pass to Walker. 
Back to Brown. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Love to see him inside passing like this, as well as guys being on the same page. Here's Niang. Back to Milton. Six to shoot. And there's a foul. We'll go on Shake Milton. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. And the Lakers making a change here. Schroeder with the ball. To the middle. Here's Brown. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Assist Brown. And the Lakers lead by two. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Pass to McDaniels. Back to Milton. 76ers moving the ball around. Embiid, no good. And man, is this team on a roll right now offensively, Greg. So fun to watch. They're playing with so much confidence, which is why they're tearing it up on this end. On the wing, Milton. Pass to McDaniels. Out to the wing. Down low. And finished off by McDaniel. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. And the Lakers call time here. LeBron. 12 points for him. Pass to Reeves. Six on the shot clock. Here's Russell. The shot misses. Good work defensively by Harden. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the 76ers. Right here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin, you are putting me on the spot. But I'd go with the Lakers, more superstars over the years. And I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. Richard, you played before and after the emergence of social media. How does that affect, in your opinion, the players these days uh, in that very uh, uncharted world? Well, it's a beautiful thing because players now understand that they are a brand. Social media has helped them build a brand, and so now you have the ability to connect with your fans in a positive way. And for me, that is a great thing for this league because the players are doing a great job with it. But you'd probably agree, you got to use it correctly and, and not stray to the dark side, right? Yeah, no, <laughs> stay away from the dark side. Pass to Gabriel. And here is James, guarded by Tucker, and finished off by LeBron. That's his first. Oh, man, LeBron, just big boy basketball on full display. The Lakers have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster. And after the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. There's Russell with the three. Pass to Vanderbilt. 
The Lakers need to get a shot off here. And James throws it down hard. Oh, okay. I guess LeBron wanted that one to sting a little. A little extra on that one. He can't get that one. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Milton with the ball. Kicks it out to Harden. Pass to Harold. All sorts of time. And the 76ers tack on two more. Harold is a modern big man. He can stretch it, and he doesn't have to always be inside to be productive for this team. James right side. Russell looking around. Back to James. Pass to Vanderbilt. Tires from the corner. Harden grabs the miss. Now Tucker. It's up a three. Traps in the tray. Tucker's got six here in this quarter. A lot of give and take between these sides early. And both teams look. Like they came to play, we should have a good one. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Philadelphia ahead. They're up by two. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. The Lakers trail. Up top, Russell. Pass to Reeves. And here is Davis. James outside. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. Yeah, just too much big boy basketball by LeBron James. Just bodying defenders inside. On the wing, Harris. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Harris has got 11 points. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Tipped away. James looking it over. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Montrez Hurt. When you have an MVP caliber player like Joel Embiid, you have to be in win mode now. And the Sixers are doing everything they can to get their big fella to the finals. And both free throws good for LeBron. Is it hard, Richard, to balance the present and the future if you're a team like the 76ers? No, no. You should have 100% focus on here and now. Why? Because players like Embiid only come around every 20, 30 years in your franchise. So you should just hedge all of your bets and try and get it done while you have the window. And it feels like that is truly the direction. There, there's no deviating from it at all. No, that's the direction. You look at the champions, the Golden State Warriors, the Milwaukee Bucks, the Lakers. They have all done the same thing. They went into win-now mode. RJ, I remember it clearly when LeBron James joined the Lakers back in 2018. Yeah, I remember it too because everyone kept asking me where he was going. I didn't know. But this is year five for LeBron in L.A. And obviously, even with that 2020 title, this town, they asked for more. And three of these years have been rocky, two of the times missing the postseason in a first-round exit, the first one of LeBron's career. Yeah, LeBron is not used to that at all, is he? Not playing in the postseason. Nope. And Tucker has it in the corner. Pass to Harden. Here's Harold. It's stolen by Davis. Pass break. The Lakers. High IQ pass by LeBron. He reads the floor and gets it to the open shooter. 
to the inside. Back to Harden. 76ers moving the ball around. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And some added toughness on the roster. Something Philly knew they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans like P.J. Tucker and DeAnthony Melton will help them further this go-round. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. To the middle. Puts the move on. And Davis can't get it to go. 76ers trailing. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. And Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Worthy. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> He's got a point, David. And we thank you for your report. A premier player in this league, Davis with another huge night showing why he is an NBA champion. It's intercepted. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Score that one for him, his eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. Here's Harden. And Harden with the stuff. What a game from Harden. Filling it up, James. Everyone knows this man is just a gifted score. Schroeder with the ball. Now guarded by Harold. Back to Schroeder. For the three. Good on the three-point shot. Schroeder's got five. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. Here's Harden. Driving inside. Davis was a nice D. And it's Davis with the jam. I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Davis definitely wants to be better from here. He knows that he can improve on his percentage from the line. And the versatility AD offers is what makes him such a valuable player. Offensively, he's a real handful given the array of moves and shots he has in his bag. He's also outstanding defensively, too, able to guard multiple positions. The 76ers trail by 11. To the paint. Looking to end the run. Here's Embiid. The reach of Embiid with his size and wingspan, he's a real threat in the offensive glass. There's Schroeder. He has five. And Dennis Schroeder gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. And the Lakers making a change here. Now, Milton. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Embiid, no good. Pass to Hachimura. The kick out to Brown. Here's Reeves. Just five to shoot. Brown right side. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Philadelphia Lakers substitution. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They trail by nine points. And Dennis Schroeder hits the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. And now only one away from being in the penalty. For three, Harris. A rebound by the Lakers. 
Schroeder outside. Inside. Bomba. And the dunk by Bomba. And, and how about the nine foot six standing reach Bomba has? I mean, it's unguardable this close. Dunks it with such ease. And Bede from outside. Pocket six. And the dunk by MB. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. And the look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Yep, that one goes. Davis has got the lead up to 11 now for Los Angeles. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Schroeder looking around. Maxi grabs the miss. Milton in the corner. Aston Yang. Here's Harris. He's guarded by Schroeder. And Davis sends it back. You can't take that shot in front of Davis. His reach, his height. Come on, man. That was never going to happen. Back to Bamba. The train. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. The way he can elevate over a defender from deep, very tough to contain outside the arc. To the paint. It's stolen by Davis. And now Bamba pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Look, and you can't forget about Davis's length. He uses it well to grab steals. Here's Niang. He has five. Off target from outside. Here's Davis. Second shot opportunity. <laughs> Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Defender plays tough, but Davis is tougher. Plays through the contact line just with ease, just with authority. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Lakers. The 76ers trail by 16. Left side, Maxi. The 76ers again can't hit it. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Now, here's Bamba. He's got nine. Here's Davis. And another basket for the Lakers. Ooh, nice touch from the mid-range. Davis proving how effective he is from that spot. Here's Maxi. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. Milton with it. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. To halt the run. That is a good shot contest by AD. Look, when he's got the size, he's got everything there. He might have to pick another shot. Nice shot there by Bamba. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Oh, yeah, they're doing a terrific job not giving this hostile crowd anything to cheer about. To the inside. Maxi with it. Now, guarded by Schroeder. And body control, baby. Harris smashing through it. There's 49 seconds left in the third quarter. Bounce pass, Schroeder. It's stolen by Harris. It's stolen by Brown. Here's Reeves. Going inside. Loads it up for Davis. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Pass to Embiid. Let's the three fly. Anthony Davis with the rebound. 
The one thing he and his coach have in common, they'll both have nightmares about this quarter. Yikes. Assisted by. You got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And all of a sudden, that man was just on the other end. Just no chance there for the defense. Major size disadvantage. He's got no business trying to stop that slam. Just get out of the way. Yeah, it's easy to see why they go to him so often, because they know they can depend on him to come through for them. Here's Embiid. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. 92. The Lakers, 92. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. The 76ers trail by 20. And Harden launches it from deep. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Harden's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for Philadelphia. Down low. Bamba. And rebounded by McDaniels. Here's Niang. Back to Harden. Harden draws the double. Pass to Niang. And stolen by Russell. Jumps up. And LeBron throws it down hard. Yo, watch out. LeBron James on the break. Honestly, I'm going to tell you the truth. Just get out of the way. Back to Melton. Hit by Harold. Harden. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Muhammad Bamba. Yeah, the defender all over him. Well, James Harden, still a tremendous player. But now in his early 30s, some question, can he be the dominant MVP force we saw in Houston? One-on-one -on -one here. Milton with the ball. He's picked up by Walker. And once Harrell hits the launching pad, the defense doesn't have a lot of good options, making that jam seem unstoppable. Pass to Walker. Back to LeBron. Out to Russell. A three. And the Lakers get it back. Here's Bamba. And the dunk by Bamba. The activity from Bamba when he's playing with a high motor, watch out. Back to McDaniel. Three on three. James has a two-pointer. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. James has got ten points here in the second half. And Greg Harden in recent years dealing with hamstring injuries. Has he lost a step to age or injury? You know, probably a little of both. 